We've decided to start our review of British submarines with their appearance. Just take a look at these predatory shapes, dangerous curves and razor-sharp lines. Three real sharks made of metal. Undine, Sturdy and Thrasher. Before proceeding with the British submarines, we highly recommend watching the How to Play Submarines video on our channel to better understand the basic principles and gameplay features of this ship type here. The link to the video is in the description. British submarines are armed with guns. They also have torpedoes, and we'll talk about them in detail a bit later. So, you can find one secondary gun installed on the decks of Tier 6 and Tier 8 submarines. Tier 10 submarine Thrasher, in her turn, has a controllable main battery gun that allows you to shell your opponents at a distance of up to 6 kilometers. By the way, British submarines can only fire SAP shells. And you may wonder how efficient Thrasher's gun is. Let's find out. We'll use Tier 10 destroyer Shimakaze as a target to test the firepower of Thrasher's soul gun. Takeo Suzuki, a commander with the Enhanced Survivability Expert skill, is at the helm of the Japanese ship. As a result, Shimakaze's HP pool reaches 21,900. Thrasher starts firing, and we launch the timer. Now, as promised, we switch to the main armament of the British boats. The trio from Britannia is armed only with acoustic torpedoes. Most of the newcomer's torpedo launchers are installed in the bow. Only Sturdy and Thrasher can attack their opponents with aft torpedo launchers. As for consumables, the British submarines are equipped with damage control party, hydrophone and submarine surveillance. A few words about hydrophone's features. The consumable, like Damage Control Party, with a limited number of charges, has a fast reloading time and a short interval between pings. The range, however, isn't the highest, especially compared to that of submarines of other nations. You can see some recommended upgrades on your screens now. They will help unlock the full potential of the British submarines in our game. Let's get back to Thrasher and her gun which has been shelling Shimakaze for more than a minute now. So far, the submarine has managed to hit 14 times, dealing over 10,000 damage. We compared the British submarines with sharks at the beginning of this video for a reason. As you know, these predators spend their entire lives in constant motion. The same goes for the newcomers. The frequent changing of position is the key to success. And try to carry out as many attacks as possible. Don't worry about the small damage of each separate torpedo. There are plenty of them in each salvo for British submarines. If all or most of them reach their target, the numbers on your damage counter will surely be pretty decent. Also, try to attack the opponent from a distance. Avoid close quarter skirmishes whenever possible. Compared to other nations, the newcomers have poor HP pools and no standard torpedoes, which are useful at close range and can deal significant damage to heavily armored targets. High dive capacity will help in battle, allowing the submarines to stay underwater for a long time. It will enable you to take a convenient position for an attack, submerge if danger presents itself, or even retreat. But high dive capacity comes with a downside. It has a slow restoration rate, so we recommend you always keep an eye on the counter and resurface from time to time to restore it. But don't forget to assess the situation before resurfacing to minimize the risk of being seen by your opponent. As for the guns, with their help. Well, we have a result. It took Thrasher's gun 2.5 minutes to sink Shimakaze. During that time, the British submarine managed to fire 30 shells at the Japanese ship. So, the conclusion is, if your torpedoes are reloading and the opponent has little HP left, the main gun will allow you to finish them off. 
British ships have long won the hearts of the captains in our game. They're quite remarkable and always bring a whole sea of emotions with them. Will the submarines be able to repeat their success? Time will tell. But we're sure of one thing. These subs are truly impressive. The Navy is here, captains.